<laughs> hello, hello, how are you? I am back again and today I thought I'd do a quick video all about a Jo Malone perfume I don't think we've ever discussed before. It is Jo Malone's English Pear and Freesia. This is probably like one of the top two bestsellers from the entire brand. Um, I would say the two most popular perfumes are Lime Basil Mandarin and English Pear and Freesia. It was traditionally Lime Basil Mandarin until English Pear and Freesia was released and then it just it just it just ran it just ran it just was one of those perfumes that just instantly everybody loved and um yeah became just such a classic and so synonymous with the brand and so for some reason i've never discussed it which is crazy because if ever i'm buying joe malone for somebody as a gift like my two go-to fragrances if i'm not sure what to get them is lime basil mandarin and english pear and freesia so it's time we chatted about it so here is the box and inside i have perfume now this is a new limited oh nearly dropped the box this is a new limited edition bottle so i don't know if you can see but it has more of a kind of i don't know more of a sculpted faceted kind of cut finish a little like a vintage decanter and also the sticker on the front is I don't know a different texture it's very lovely um but yeah it's a new limited edition bottle it's very pretty I'm already wearing it oh it smells so good it's kind of gone into that kind of juicy pear white floral powdery dry down it's very pretty anyway I'm gonna put a little bit more on so I've got kind of the more warmed existing notes and then I've got the fresh top notes I'm gonna mist a little. <laughs> oh, that like that right pair. It's just so enjoyable. It's so pretty. It's such a pretty, pretty, pretty perfume. It's I can see why it's so popular. It's it's just so lovely and joyful and elegant and warm and fresh. And while it is wonderful for summer, it kind of carries on all year round. Um, so anyway. Today we're going to discuss it. So let me get my phone up. And um, yeah, first of all, it's 102 pounds for a 100 ml bottle. And this is a 100 ml bottle. Um, it is described as the essence of autumn. The sensuous freshness of just right pears is wrapped with a bouquet of white freesias and mellowed by amber, patchouli and woods. Um, it includes top notes of King William pear, heart notes of freesia, and base notes of patchouli and of course it's got the amber and woods which have already been mentioned and um yeah you can also pair it with other fragrances from the collection you can of course wear it by itself but you can make it a little bit fresher a little bit more summery a little bit more zingy by combining it with orange blossom which i can imagine is a stunning combination or you can combine it gosh my phone or you can combine it with wild bluebells to make it a little bit more vintagey, a little bit more woodsy and earthy. Or you can combine it with grapefruit, which I love grapefruit. I think it's such an exciting, zesty perfume. So they are really lovely options. Or you can make it a little bit warmer, a little bit more wintry with wood sage and sea salt to make it a little bit more coastally and woodsy and lovely. Or dark amber and ginger lily, which I need to try. That sounds incredible. Or you can mix it with peony and blush suede which will really amp up the floral notes. Oh, but yeah, it's just, it's just a, like a warm, juicy, elegant, fruity floral fragrance. It's got this kind of fresh, sparkling, ripe pear note, which is really fun, really uplifting, really exciting, quite unusual. But then it's got this gorgeous, kind of like very English white, blossomy floral note which is of course the freesia it definitely has kind of like slightly vintage vintage vibes almost reminds me a little bit of like magnolia or heliotrope and yeah i love the woods and the amber and the patchouli at the bottom it just gives it kind of quite a lovely kind of dark woodsy a little bit mysterious base note which just kind of know just 
mix this it up a little, give it a little bit more contrast because it could be such a bright, airy, fruity floral, but I think the base makes it a little bit more woodsy and mysterious, which I really like about it. Kind of, yeah, it's very, it's very impossible not to like. Like, it's so pretty, it's so fresh and floral and lovely and easy to wear for any occasion. It's a beautiful daytime perfume. I would say it's quite summery, but then it is also lovely for winter. Um, it's a great fragrance combiner. It's a great gift. Um, it's one of those ones where you just can't go wrong. Like if you're feeling like you're having a picky perfume day and you just don't know what to wear, it's a really good perfume for that. It's also a great wedding fragrance. A lot of people have chosen this perfume as a wedding fragrance because it is so kind of like, it feels very vintage, but it also feels quite modern. It feels very classic, it's very joyful, it's very uplifting. Um, and it just feels like something you should wear on a special day. Oh, it's just so pretty. It's so pretty. It's impossible not to like. It's kind of quite youthful, but it's also quite elegant. It's possibly not as kind of zingy and pungent and in your face as Lime Basil Mandarin. It's a little bit more soft, pretty and subtle. And then what other fragrances would I say it reminds me of from the collection? I would say it reminds me a little bit of Peony and Blush Suede. It reminds me a little bit of Blackberry and Bay, but a little bit more fresh and floral. And what else does it remind me of? I don't know, there's something about it which gives me slight Red Roses vibes. I don't know, I think it's that vintage floraliness. And it kind of reminds me a little bit of Wild Bluebells too, but I don't know, it's just a really special, uplifting, wonderful gift giving perfume. It's wonderful for wedding days, wonderful as gifts, wonderful when you're not sure what to wear. And yeah, it just makes, just makes every day a little bit better. And um, yeah, you can get it as a candle, as perfume. It comes as a 30 mil, 50 mil and 100 mil cologne. I think it comes with two sizes of candles. It comes with a whole range of bath and body products. I think including a soap, a shower gel, all those different options. And it's just really, I don't know, it's just impossible not to enjoy. It, the pear isn't too sweet. The freesia isn't too overwhelmingly white floral. It's just a really lovely, pretty, elegant, joyful perfume, which is perfect for summer autumn, spring, whenever. And um, yeah, I would say it's more daytimey. I would definitely put it as more of a feminine fragrance. I don't think it's very unisex. And um, yeah, if you're not sure what perfume to buy next, this is it. It's so pretty and you can't not love it. And it's a great blind buy. It's a great gift buy as well. Anyway, that is my video. I think that's everything I wanted to say about it. Look out for the new limited edition bottle because it's super, super pretty. And um, yeah, it's just a joyful, beautiful perfume, which I don't know, I think it's the ultimate wedding scent from Jo Malone. And um, yeah, it's just so pretty. <sighs> anyway, that is my video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again very soon. Have a lovely day. Goodbye.